hello good morning good morning how are you doing my people welcome back to inspire generations i'm always excited whenever i get a chance to share information with you people and uh, you can for those who have been following me you can you know notice a little bit of a change on our channel and uh, we're doing quite a lot of farming and that's what i'm doing currently and uh, i sure do enjoy uh, what i'm doing right now and so today i thought you know of sharing about coriander farming uh, dania so uh i have uh, i have dania at my farm you know sometimes you know in farming as any other business you can also diversify and see what can uh, you know to do uh, a little bit of these crops and see uh, you know how they how everything works okay so we have coriander at our farm and uh, this is about the third week and uh, they are doing quite so good actually I'm going to show you the video of how they look like and in the next two weeks we will be you know taking them to the market actually not taking them to the market but people come to buy at the farm okay so let me show you how the place looks like and even i as uh, uh, even as i share some details you know about the same on uh, what you need and what you're supposed to do all right Yes, yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. This is uh, coriander. Uh, for most of us in Kenya, Nigeria, Kamadania, uh, they look so good. As I said, they're about, you know, like three weeks old. Uh, and uh, so number one, uh, for those of you, maybe you might want to do coriander farming or dania farming at your farm. Because sometimes, especially for those of us who are, you know, doing commercial farming, you want something that can give you uh some you know some money to help you run your farm so coriander farming coriander takes 45 days in the uh, at the farm okay so this one you don't approve them or maybe to go and transplant into another place this is all you do they take 45 days uh, since the, uh, from the first day when you saw them uh, in the soil and uh, for five days you harvest and you take them to market or maybe the the buyers come to your farm to to buy okay so this is a very short term uh, i mean a very uh, short you know uh, short term crop uh, takes for five days and uh, so number one you have to make sure i mean one you have to decide the kind of farming that you want to do either you want to do drip irrigation like ourselves or maybe you want to do the basin or maybe you want to do the watering by yourself and actually for dania uh you can do the watering by yourself you don't have to do drip irrigation but um you know for the purpose of getting uh good quality and also the production drip, drip irrigation is uh is good okay so uh you have to decide you know the kind of irrigation that you want to do and then number two you have to make sure that your farm is well prepared you can see how our bands are, are made quite quite good you know and um, you, uh, then also you have to check the variety that you will be doing okay there are so many varieties we got ours from amiran and um, the germination was quite good as you can see yeah because that's what you want to see at your farm we have uh, quite quite a number of them yeah the germination was uh, germination was very good actually at three weeks old they look so good yeah the size is so good so in the next two weeks yeah we will have a good a good size a good size yeah so that uh, then we can uh, we can uh, we can sell them uh, all right actually mine i you know right now i'm just watching uh, the production and also the quality okay quality and the production the prices will take care will take care of themselves you know when we get at that point you know there are some things that you cannot control you can you know it's so difficult to control the market all right you go as per the price uh, in the market but then you can control production you can control quality and that's what we are focusing in uh, that's our focus at inspired generation farm we want to make sure that our production is good and then the quality is good okay prices we don't have the capability to control the prices yeah but uh we keep we keep pushing so this is how our dania looks like let me know what you think in the in the video and as you can see this other section this is our, our onion nursery it looks so wonderful too we will be transplanting in the next two weeks or so okay yeah so that is it for this video let me know what you think in the comment section if you have any you know question let me know you can always text me via facebook on at inspire generation farms and uh, we can always you know get to exchange this knowledge and share 
information because as they say information is power subscribe like the video and share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video